Okay, dear students, let us see what is there in this question. The decay constant lambda of a radioactive sample can be defined as. So they are just asking you the definition of that. Uh, as per the radioactivity is concerned, I can give you one formula here. So this is the formula with which we find the number of nuclei is left instantaneously. N naught is the initial number of uh, nuclei with which we had started radioactivity and N is the number of nuclei left at time t. Okay, at any time t. So this is how we do it. And so lambda can be defined in many ways, although there are other definitions also available. But according to this question, the probability that a nucleus decays per unit time in the radioactive sample, this is the correct definition for the lambda. You see, what will be the units of lambda from this? So if I say that e raised to power minus lambda t, so from our um, the chapter number one in, in IB physics, which uh, is in regards to the units, we can see that lambda t should come out to be a dimensionless and unitless numeric. So what should be the um, units of lambda? So the units of lambda should be per sec, isn't it? Per second. So there has to be per unit time. And we know that lambda does talk about the probability of the nucleus decay. So it will be probability of the nucleus decay per unit time in the radioactive sample. The above two options are the number of disintegrations, the number of disintegrations. But lambda does not give you directly the number of disintegrations that have taken place. No, not at all. Because there is a different formula for that. So I can only say that D is the correct answer. That is the probability that a nucleus decays per unit time in the radioactive sample. So my dear students, this is Professor Varun. Please do subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, please share the YouTube channel with all your friends. All the best.